All right, we've got a little chest here. Let's see what it has inside. A boomstick. This is a pretty good weapon. I love it, but it's kind of useless to me since I am a mage after all. There's another house. Let's see what's inside. A crown. But also more shoe spikes. Great. Well, the traveling merchant arrived as well, so let's see what he has. This one's got an ammo box. I'll buy it, even though I'm not really gonna use it. Um, there's also this cool yo-yo, although it really doesn't matter. Stopwatch is important. Uh, these two are kind of unimportant, so I'll just leave them. Looks like there's a hive here. Getting into it would be a bit tricky, and I think... If I get water into it, there could be some um, unwanted effects. So, um, I'm going to keep looking for the anchor of the wind, but I'll make sure to look around it so it's more from the map. Actually, as deep here in the jungle as I am in the uh, in the elevator. If I look over here. I might reach hell here sooner than I do in in the uh, elevator. I'm not getting very lucky with these chests. Although I don't think it can even spawn in tree ones. No, it's another feral clause. Great. Maybe here. Recall potions are good. No, it's um, it's something else. At least it's uh. A double jump item, which I'm probably not going to use. Oh, well look at this. I found something else of importance in here. A temple. But, that's gonna... I'm gonna leave that for much later on. Much later on. Another miss. do love bathing themselves in lava. And it looks like we've actually arrived in hell. Yep. Didn't really expect to get here right now, but... Yeah. Let's take a look. As you can see, the whole place is mostly lava. And this, there's not much we're gonna do about this place just yet. Another blood moon, but it's alright. Oh. Um, yeah, we're just gonna mostly ignore it for now. Try to see if we can find um, the boots here. Let's see what's this. Another. Nah, I can't even take anything. Well, I'll just throw away some stuff. Oh, look at that. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at that much later down the road. So another blood moon hit. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get anything to fish. And there's one monster. Oh, look at this. I have a bow. I don't really care about the bow, but I got two drops. And I think that's actually a summoning staff. Yeah. I can get a summon now. 
So let's see how it does. It's a massive help, actually. As you can see. Should help me with the cement a little bit. That's honestly the thing I wanted the most of all of this. As well as the rod. I don't, I don't think there's really anything else I can get that I really care about, but I'm not gonna stop fishing. But that's about it. This bow actually rains blood from the sky. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. This guy is selling a drum set. I haven't seen him sell that before. Doesn't seem like I can play it or anything though. So I guess it's just decorations. Not in here. Okay, there's a shrine. Let's see what it has. There is a B minecart inside, but not what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Another feral claws. Wow. Isn't that just perfect? But there is another shrine down there. Or not. What was. What, what? Okay. I guess that bugged out. Finally, I just realized I kept saying boots. No, uh, the anthem of the wind. It's finally here. Okay, let's just sort sort all this out and bring it back home. All right, so if I take off my boots and I have the anthem of the wind and the aglet, I can just combine them into the lightning boots. Great. Now, next step would be to, I think, go to the ice biome and get some ice skates. I think that should be enough to get the frost spark boots. So I suppose I do want to get the ultimate boots before I kill the uh, bee. So let's go do that right now. Oh actually this guy's selling a drumstick. Okay I might actually be able to play it after all. slow you down quite a bit so try not to touch water too much there's a cave here so I'm just gonna explore it and see if I can find anything in here also be careful around these ice blocks because this can happen and if you don't have if you have fall damage you can freely oh and also I got this beam my cart I'm not too sure what it does. Well, the special minecarts do tend to have special abilities. I think I might be able to fly or something. No. I don't know if they all have abilities, but I know some of them do. But yeah, it, it looks uh, it looks cool at the very least. Let's see what's in here. Water walking boots. I actually think I need those as well. For, for the Terra Spark boots, so that's a very nice find. Traveling merchant just arrived, and I'm seriously not having a lot of 
luck with the loot. Let's see what he has to sell. He is not selling anything new. Actually, this paint sprayer is new. And this, I could wear this, can I? Or no? Oh, I see. I'm not gonna wear it, but I still bought it. I do have the stopwatch and the DPS meter already, so... Well, the paint sprayer was the most useful item, I suppose. Let's see what's in this one. A snowball cam. That's nice to find at the very beginning of the game. If you're a ranger. Alright, what about this one then? And there they are. The ice skates. Okay. That took about 15 minutes. Let's get back. Now if I take out my lightning boots and take these skates, I can combine them into the frost bar boots. I think these used to be the the last ones you would get. I think. But right now you can also form the terrace bar boots with lava waders. And the lava waders I might have a tough time getting. I'm pretty sure you need to go to hell to find them. But I'll look it up. Right, well, looks like I will have to come in contact with lava in order to get those. And it might just be best to keep on digging the elevator for now, which is an opportunity to show off these scarab bombs. I've never actually used the scarab bomb, so let's see what they look like. So I, I think you can just throw them like this. And they explode. Oh, okay, maybe I should have anticipated the damage. For some reason I didn't. But yeah, they cut a straight line. It's pretty good. Too bad I'm out of them though. Looks like there's some lava on the left side, although if that's all of it, then we certainly won't have enough for what we need it for. What is that though? Is that yeah, it's another mushroom biome. Those ores look really weird at the start. There's a big lava pool right here. Now I need some obsidian, and I can make some if I combine it with water, as you can see. But I'll need a lot more water. Luckily though, if I use this elevator, I should be able to flush some water down there. So let's take a look at the first experiment. If I do this, it should drain out. Now let's see how well it does. There, that helped. Now that we've got this collection of water, I can just dig the obsidian like this. I don't need too much, just just about 40 for what I'm looking for. I need to combine it with these the water boots we saw earlier, as well as something else later on. I think that about does it. Uh, one more thing I need is the lava waders now. Uh, and for the lava waders I need the lava immunity charm which is just found in chests around the place. So I'll need to be a bit lucky to find it. The lava is actually going to just be in the way. Although I should be able to dig it out like this so it shouldn't bother the elevator. Like this. This is an underground tree. Oh wow, and this is a geyser. Watch out for those, they're deadly. Uh, but this is a tree. It's actually a gemstone tree. It's a, it was an emerald one. So you can basically just farm them like this. If you want underground. Let's see. Let's see what this has. It has a lava charm. Nice. That's basically everything for the Terra Spark boots. So we can go and grab them. Right. So first of all, I need these obsidian skulls. 
I only need one of them uh, for the TR Spark Boots, but I can combine Water Walking Boots and the Obsidian Skull into these Water Walking Boots. And with this, I can make a Molten Charm, but I don't want that. I want something else instead. Ah, looks like I'm missing another item. An Obsidian Rose. I'll need to look up where to get that too. Okay, so the final thing we need, the Obsidian Rose, is a 2% drop chance item in hell. So, we should get it eventually. I'll probably want to go mining for some Hellstone, and during that time I'll probably end up getting it. It looks like this water, I mean lava, somehow did not mess up our elevator. And I'm really glad about that. But this one might. Let's see what's inside this chest. Holy crap, that scared the sh no. That scared the shit out of me. Right, so I'm back at the crime scene. Is this even a chest? It. Let's see. Yeah, it actually does have items inside. <sighs> Wait. It also triggers this? Wow. Okay. That's, that's horrible. Dead man's chest, huh? Okay. Well. Let's keep going. That's a big lava pool. Well, that might take a lot of water. But first things first, I just want to make sure there's a direct path. So, it's these two, I think. Right, and I don't really want the water going away from this. So I'll create a little barrier here. Alright. Here's a pretty big pool of water. Hopefully it's enough. Ah, uh, this is going to be a bit more painful than I expected. Alright, looks like it's just enough to get through. Or not. Will this be a problem? Of course it will. Ah, well, let's go get more water. I didn't even realize I was on fire. Alright, I got a tiny amount of water. And it looks like it did a trick this time. Alright. And it looks like it was just enough to get us to hell. Alright, there it is. The official entrance. Let's just go in here and see what's up. So... Hell is probably going to be the last place we're going to be at before we hit uh, the next phase of the world. Right now there's not all too much to do, except kill these fire imps here, and they're the ones that drop the, the obsidian rose. 2% chance, so I'm just going to grind it a little bit, although I might as well if I can get a hold of an obsidian skin potion, I can most likely just make one anyways, but you can find them in the spots, I think. If you see these ores in the ground, we can mine them and convert them to hellstone, which we don't really need all that much. Um, there is a better summoner item that I can get from it, so I would really like to do that. Also, 
I'll make a hellstone, not a hellstone bridge, but uh, I'll make a bridge across the entire, well, not the entirety of hell, but for a big part of it. And I'll also steal the, this hellforge. We need it to uh, smelt some stuff. So yeah, about that bridge, um, we'll need it for uh, certain purposes.